This is the Wire for 2130 Zulu, June 10th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 2030. Bottom line up front. Denmark Prime Minister shoved in Copenhagen. Political tensions rise amid elections in Europe. Beginning with international events. In Denmark, local reports indicate Prime Minister Mette Friedrichsen was assaulted in Copenhagen on Saturday. Analysts comment. Though the Prime Minister's office has refused to provide a name or the description of the assailant, local eyewitness testimony suggests this may not have been a targeted attack. The man was allegedly walking in the opposite direction, shoulder-checked the Prime Minister, and continued walking until her security detail apprehended him. Based on these details, it's possible that the man didn't know who she was and therefore was just socially impolite or otherwise was simply interested in pursuing random street violence. In Europe, over the weekend, the European Parliament election results have caused significant ire throughout the continent due to allegedly far-right, by European standards, candidates or parties expanding their held seats throughout the continent. In France, President Macron has dissolved Parliament and called for a snap election in a bid to keep control amid his opponents rising and already dominating support. In Germany, Chancellor Schulz was dealt a similar blow as the AFD party won out over 16% of the vote, up from 11% in 2019. Analysts comment. Though an elective body completely foreign to the United States, the European parliamentary elections can sometimes serve as indications and warnings of political leanings throughout Europe, especially if European citizens are exceptionally unsatisfied. Much of the political turmoil mounting around the world surrounds the issue of immigration, legal or not, which has become a very important consideration for voters in 2024. By American standards, this latest European Parliament election resulted in what Americans may refer to as a red wave, with conservatives sweeping many seats. However, it also must be noted that by American standards, many of the conservative parties central to Europe are not entirely conservative on issues that may be important to voters. On the home front in Washington, D.C., pro-Palestine supporters, along with self-described Hamas supporters, conducted their latest direct action event at the White House. Taking cues from previous far-left organized demonstrations, pro-Palestine demonstrations are becoming less and less organic. Analyst comments for this wire. As the protest season ramps up in the United States, it's important to consider that mission creep has likely taken place with regards to the Palestinian issue. Mission creep which probably has a few origins and explanations. For instance, various funding sources will seek to delegitimize the issue itself by funding demonstrations that are increasingly hostile to an American audience. In the beginning, pro-Palestine demonstrations could have appealed to common American social norms and mores by expressing legitimate concerns. However, at this point, the staunchly pro-jihad slash anti-American nature of these protests is so out of touch with the measures needed to gain support with the average American that it's probably intentional in some situations and locales. Out of all of the legitimate complaints Palestinian supporters could be raising, the majority of pro-Palestinian demonstrations usually take on the characteristics of being politically far-left rallies against civilization at large. If the goal of this was to delegitimize the Palestinian cause, that mission has fairly well been accomplished as many Americans have become fatigued with the entire conflict. However, whether the situation is best represented by Israel amplifying content showing the bad behavior of various Palestinian supporters with the goal of delegitimizing their issues, or if the situation is simply many Palestine supporters revealing their true goals over time, the end result is the same. Fatigue, conflict, civil unrest, and social disorder during an election year in which many Americans feel as if they are left holding the bag. This concludes the wire for 2130 Zulu, June 10th, 2024.